What's up, Fragcom? How are you guys? Uh, Ryan here. Another another fragrance review for you. This is I don't have the full presentation yet. Uh, great friend of mine, uh, Fabio. Uh, thank you so much for sending me these these uh, these great samples of your line. I know I'm a little bit late to the party. They, these came out in 2017. So, uh, but the one I'm actually going to review, I've been wearing this stuff for the last week and a half every day, and I've really, really uh, grown to like it a lot, and it's just, just a great, great fragrance. It is called Chic Claire. So I want to try and uh, review this one today. But the other ones, um, you have Cure Vert, and then you have Tabac Duor, which uh, both of them are excellent. Um, one's a really nice tobacco fragrance, and of course the, the Cure is, um, is a leather fragrance, which, which both are really, really nice. Uh, but this one just really kind of hit the spot with me. I really, really like this one. Uh, it's a little bit easier to wear, and and we'll we'll get onto that though. But uh, Fabio, I just wanted to you know say congratulations. I think it's all of our dreams, kind of as as a fragrance reviewer, is to get our own line and to um, our own brand actually, you know, and have fragrances. I probably will never do that, but uh, just congrats to you. I know um, you know Kerosene did it you're doing it. So just congrats, my friend. And, and it's a, you know, great, great few fragrances you have out right now. So congrats to you. But uh, Fabio Con Conde is the perfumer and, um, you know, the, the creator behind this house. It's uh, Conde Perfumes. I'll get into the presentation with the box and stuff, but very, very nice uh, presentation. 2017 release, like I said, let's get on with the notes for this one. Um, you have Pettigrain and Lemon uh, Bergamot Lime at the top. Then you have middle green tea, bamboo, and water lily. And then you have oak moss and vetiver for your base. So guys, um, you know, this one starts off just so, it is such a bright lemon. It's that, it's like that Perfume Aroma lemon scent. Um, I can't remember what the name, Aqua Viva was one of those. But it, it just has this bright, kind of like a sweet lemon a little bit. It is just so... It's great off the top. It is so, and I think it might have to do with you know the bergamot, lime, everything all in the pedigree, all in one, that is just creating this really nice juicy, citrusy, lemony feel. It's very clean, and what's nice about this one, he kind of turned it into kind of like a sheep, uh, sheep row because of the oak moss and vetiver at the base, and within probably like 45 minutes to an hour, you start picking up those. Uh, you know, during the middle, of course, you have the bamboo. It, it, it's very, it, it gets green, um, and then a little bit floral. It's not like a, a woman kind of like like a feminine floral, but you do pick up some flower, you know, some floral in there, and then you get this green tea, which is really really nice. Um, it's not like a, I'm trying to think of, you know, green tea is not really as strong as like a regular like tea tea. You know, what I mean, it's not a tea base, but green tea, it's more of like, you know, it's it just more of, I think he just wanted to keep it a little bit more green and brighter. And, and it really did great with that. And then you have this, I don't want to say old school kind of vintage vibe, but I do want to say it, it, it is great because, you know, I think of like Reggie Boy and uh, Mr. Smelly, 1977, uh, you know, and, and me, myself, we like that kind of the, the, the sheep, you know, the, the kind of the old school, the oak moss vetiver, um, you know, fragrances. I, I don't know if it's just a, a reminder of our, our, maybe our fathers or uncles wearing, you know, the old school fragrances with, with when they use the, a lot of that, but it just kind of gives it that really nice depth to it. And, and with this one, it, it works out great because of the, uh, there's so much brightness at the top. You get a little bit of that sweet green, uh, greenness in, in the middle and the bottom, that base just kind of comes through and it, it's just a really good mixture because it, it has depth and it's got a little a little bit of oomph to it, but it still stays bright from all those beautiful citruses at top. And guys, this one is really, um, it's just a great, great fragrance. It's, like I said, it's easy to wear and it's just a little bit nicer, um, you know, than just a regular citrus fragrance. You know, it's just, it's got a little, like I said, a little bit more depth and it's really well-rounded. It's, it's a really, um, you know, he really did a good job on putting this one together. So uh, congrats on this one. I do have a full bottle that I'm gonna be purchasing. I'm probably just gonna get all three full bottles. Um, they're, so, they're only $79.50, I believe, for a 50 milliliter. And I think that's right right in line for a great, great price. It's, it's good quality. It smells good. It doesn't smell cheap. And I just really, really, um, really like this one. But presentation's nice. Just Now, this is just the, um, this was pretty much full. And I've, uh, I pretty much <laughs> I wore it, like I said, for a couple weeks now, just straight. I've been wearing it to the gym, I wear it to work, so even a couple times a day, so. But the uh, presentation's nice, just even on the, on the um, just on the little decants and stuff, but comes with a nice little pamphlet, 
and um, just very well done. It takes a lot of work to, you know, to obviously get a brand up and up and going, and then for the presentation to be nice too. And this is just on the very nice box, well um, constructed. This comes out. It's got the nice, um, you know, where you can where you put the actual samples in there and everything. So just a, I mean, so you know the presentation for the bottle is going to be nice as well. So. And for $80 for a 50 ml, I think it's priced very, very well. Performance is, is tricky with this one because sometimes after about, you know, four or five hours, you kind of lose it. But man, I'll get home from a day of work after about 10 hours and I'll just kind of, you know, like even if I like, you know, kind of just like rub the back of my neck or something, I'll something like, like smell my fingers and it's still there. So the longevity, it's it, it's quite a bit, uh, quite nice on this one. You know, I'm, I'm going to say some days it, it lasts a long, long time. Uh, you know, again, longevity is tricky because longevity means that it could be 15 hours on your skin, but if you really, really get close and just go right up to your skin and smell it, uh, it's not projecting, of course, and, and someone's not going to probably smell it unless they get right up on your skin. But so that's that's why it's tricky with longevity. But, you know, this one at least gets a good where you can smell it, um, you know, a good eight hours. So I, you can't complain about a brighter fragrance. Like I said, it does have a little more oomph because of that vetiver and oak moss, but it's just so well-rounded because it stays clean. And I like that. That's what, I mean, I wear it to the gym and I, and I really, and I really like it. It comes off when I start sweating, it comes off really nice on my skin and it, it has a clean feel, but a little more depth, which I, which I do like. So guys, Again, Fabio, thank you for, for the sending me the samples. Like I said, a little bit late to the party, but um, you know, if you guys haven't smelled this one or smelled these three, get your, get your noses on them. I think they're, they're done really, really well. Um, you know, thank you. Thank you guys so much again. Rise Frakes 34. Uh, please let me know if you've uh, had a chance to smell these. Really haven't checked out YouTube too much right now with, with the uh, who, who had their chance to smell these. I'm not sure what reviewers have done anything with this, but just wanted to kind of give you my take on, um, uh, on the Sheep, uh, Sheep Claire. First, uh, the other two I will review as well. Both excellent, excellent fragrances. So guys, again, can't thank you enough for all your support. We'll talk to you soon.